The Lord of the SMP, Stephen Flynn. Mr. Speaker, the two child benefit cap, as introduced by the Conservative Party, has left 250,000 children living in poverty. So, can I ask the Prime Minister, does he take comfort in knowing that the heinous legacy of that policy will no longer just be protected by Conservative members, but by Labour members too? Well, Mr. Mr. Speaker, I welcome the uh, Labour leader's newfound support for our policy, even though he previously committed to a different approach. But what I would say to the honourable gentleman, and indeed the Labour front bench, is that they don't have to worry too much, because given the Labour leader's track record, he's never actually kept a promise that he's made. <laughs> Stephen Flynn. Mr Speaker, voters in Scotland are used to child poverty under the Tories. They almost expect it. But what they don't expect, what they don't expect is child poverty support from the Labour Party. And if we look very closely right now, there is a shiver running along the Labour front bench looking for a spine. But Mr Speaker, does this not tell us something much big- uh, 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 bigger than for children living in poverty in Scotland? Westminster offers them no real change. It offers them no real hope. Well, Mr Speaker, the best, the best route out of poverty is through work, Mr Speaker. Uh, and, the most, and the best way to ensure that children do not grow up in poverty is to ensure that they do not grow up in a workless household. Uh, that is why we are focused on creating more jobs, with 200,000 more in Scotland since 2010, and hundreds of thousands fewer children across the United Kingdom growing up, fewer growing up in a workless household. We will always continue to reduce child poverty. I don't want to see a single child grow up in poverty, and we will deliver that in every part of the UK, including in Scotland.